Hey guys, check out this really cool project. A custom vision board done using Ligari products. Our products can coat over anything, including a metal piece like this one. Watch the step-by-step -step process. All right, so I'm gonna apply our WB primer. It's a fast cure primer and it has an extreme adhesion on smooth surfaces. So this is a piece of metal that's been powder coated. We're gonna prime it and then we're gonna do a cool epoxy technique on it. I'm just using a 3 8 snap roller. It's been de-shedded and this is our black primer. So we're just gonna roll a bead down the middle, cross roll it out. So I'm going to apply the base coat now. We're just doing black metallics. Pour a bead down the middle and then I'm going to cross roll it out. Really simple process to apply. So I got the product here. I'll probably do a couple beads, smaller beads, just so I don't have to move the, the resin so much. And I'm trying to pour even beads out as I'm doing it. So I can come back and add, make them a little thicker, try to get them similar thicknesses and I already got a roller from a previous project so I'm gonna just use that it's just a 3 8 snap roller we did de-shed it removing any loose hairs off of it and then we're just gonna spread this out kind of cross roll these beads So what I'm doing here, I'm just making sure I get a decent amount right to that edge. A lot of people make the mistake of having their edges really thin. So I'll kind of push some product to those edges. Get a little bead there and then kind of just roll those out. All right, so now I'm going to agitate them by agitate the metallics by swirling it. And it'll create a really cool marble effect. Just kind of random directions. And you'll see the surface kind of fizzing. It's popping all the bubbles. That's why we don't have to torch our resins. Now when this marbleizes out, it's gonna be really, really cool. All these swirl marks on the rollers are gonna go away and it's just gonna start to marbleize out. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our white veining and what I did I poured the white out same time as I mixed the black on just a flat sheet here, flat piece of wood, and that's set up now. Just about the same that the black is set up, it's really sticky. And what I mean by that is, if I run this in here, you can see it's stringy. That's the look we're going for. We wanna run these veins when this gets stringy. This is all we're gonna be doing. Holding it low, really low. And then once we start to run out of material and get a bunch of lines, we'll tilt that and make it just go straight. So we're gonna go around the board, do a couple of these, and then we'll run a bunch of little fracture veins everywhere.
Now what we're gonna do is just start running designs all through the different directions. So letting one string drip off and just start running it all different directions. And it's okay if you get two going at the same time, it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to keep them as straight as we can in just all different directions. You could add as many fracture veins as you want. You could stop it now, you could keep going. Totally depends on the lick you're going for. And I'll show you a way to fix any spots that maybe you didn't like or you, it looks like just a drip, like right here. I'll start this out here, get it to drip, start to drip. Once it starts to drip, I'm gonna move it. All right guys, last thing we got to do, spray with denatured alcohol. So what's happened is the resin's really thick. Our formula is not designed to release bubbles when it sets up and gets thick like that. And we're also trapping air in between two layers of epoxy. So instead of torching, which we never do, we're gonna spray denatured alcohol and it's gonna pop all these bubbles and just make it a glass smooth finish and look absolutely beautiful. So we're just misting it right down onto the bubbles. Might take a second for them to start to pop, but they will. Don't worry about messing up the epoxy. Doesn't have an effect on it at all. See them, they're slowly starting to pop now. We'll get these guys right here. There you have it guys, custom unique piece of marble granite, whatever you want to call this, it's super cool though. So what we're gonna do is let this set up. Tomorrow I'm gonna to put a matte urethane on it and really give it that natural stone look. All right guys, what I got here is our WB urethane and matte. It's basically gonna take this high gloss finish and make it a matte sheen. So it's gonna be a really cool look. It's gonna make it look really natural. Um, and we don't have to sand, hone it, spend all that time getting that finish. We're simply gonna roll a product on and within a matter of minutes, we're gonna create a matte finish. So first thing I'm gonna do is soak the roller up. I'm using a 3 8 snap roller. You wanna make sure you always de-shed rollers, get, in, get rid of any of those loose hairs that might come out on your top there and then we're just gonna do about half this board so we'll roll out down the middle and then we'll just cross roll it small pieces like this you can do kind of roll out the whole piece before you do your back rolls anything larger than this you kind of want to do it in sections but this is so small, I can get it all rolled out in plenty of time. All right, so you can see I was leaving lines because I hit my edge, increase the roller. I want to roll that out, get that roller flat again before I do my back roll. So we'll just roll it out real quick. Once that roller goes nice and even and flat, we'll do our back roll. 
overlapping a little, not applying any pressure. Cool thing about the urethanes is they're 100% UV stable, so they will not yellow. And they also, you can apply two coats in the same day. So I'm gonna let this set up for about half an hour to an hour. Once this white goes clear, I'm gonna apply my second coat so you don't have to wait the next day to apply another coat. And I'll show you guys that next. All right, you can tell the, sheet, the, the white haze is gone. It's already drying out. It's still sticky, but I can apply that second layer. So this doesn't really go for floors where you gotta walk out there. Countertops, art pieces, stuff like this, where you don't have to walk on it, you can apply that second coat. So I'm gonna just coat this whole thing in one pass, kind of like I did last time, because it's not a huge area. If you're doing like countertops, you're gonna wanna split it up into sections. So dip, get some product out there. And then do the same thing on this side and then we'll just cross roll. There's not a faster product or way to go from a high gloss finish to a matte sheen than, than our urethane. All right, that's how you apply the second layer. This is gonna dry out and we'll show you guys the finished look soon.